Hello, Pisces! Welcome to your mid-month! Surprise, surprise! Figured I would um, do a little something special for all of my subscribers. Um, yeah, I wanted to do, I'm wanted i going to do mid-months. Tonight I do, I am going live for Aquarius' reading, if you have Aquarius in your chart. Um, I will be pulling cards at the end. I don't usually look at the chat during um, the time I'm actually doing the reading, but... Um, I'm going to be doing mid-months for all the signs, and I decided to do you guys first. I love you guys. You guys know this. Um, so let's get started. Your recent past position. You had the Two of Wands with the Ten of Cups and the Seven of Cups. A lot of water energy here, guys. <laughs> I really feel that some of you have had a really tough Time making a decision could have been a little bit confused because of options maybe a lot of things were thrown at you um, or this could be happening coming into the mid middle of the month and it could definitely have to do with family and love I feel like you've made a decision here that you're pushing forward regardless of whatever this Ten of Cups situation was. The reason why I say that. <laughs> You're right now position. I think you made a solid decision. Or you're getting real freaking clear. About who you um, know you're supposed to be with. Here's the Ace of Cups. Or I'm sorry, the Ace of Wands. I'm sorry. You have the Ace of Wands. With the Two of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. What you choose, spirits behind you 1,000%. If it's with a soulmate and you're willing to put in the work, I feel whatever this situation was here in your past there, where there was confusion, you are you're knowing right now or you're going to be knowing real freaking soon who you want to put the work in with. Who deserves your time in your near future? There you are, standing in your power as the High Priestess. There's your card. My, well, this is probably my favorite card of the whole deck. Such a powerful card for Pisces. The High Priestess, yeah. You're in, both your cards came out, by the way. You're very intuitive. You, Neptune, I love Neptunian energy. You're going to be stalemating somebody. It very well could be possibly an Earth sign. Because you have the uh, Knight of Pentacles here, which is the Prince of Pentacles in this deck, but it's the Knight of Pentacles. I think whoever you're choosing here to move forward and work with, Spirit is going to help you close off. You're going to become closed off to any um, offers and only working on what your intuition is telling you. You're going to be spot on. You know what to do, Pisces. You just don't tell everybody all the time. <laughs> Intuitively, you know. You're always spot on. Okay. For your outcome. You have the Princess of Pentacles here. With the hanged man getting illuminated. Getting more downloads. And I think it has to do with this lunar eclipse that's coming up. And then you have the three of wands. Making long term plans and long term decisions. The spirit's telling you to make a decision. He's behind you. Spirit's behind you in this. So if you're choosing to stay and, and work on a relationship. You're going to see that you're going to have to cut off possibly some other people who may have made you confused in the past. But I, I see that you have already made this decision of who you want this Ten of Cups with. And it's with your soulmate. At the bottom of the deck, you did have the Seven of Wands. With the Devil in Reverse. With the Ace of Pentacles. Anybody who has been seven of one like you're like I'm not taking any more um toxic people in my life I'm not I'm not we're not doing this anymore 
I'm done with that. I got a new start from, from Spirit, and I'm taking it. So anybody else is going to be getting this from you, <laughs> which is the Queen of Cups in Reverse. I think you're focusing on your family and um, what is best for you. You're going to be working mostly, I feel, on your core values and whatever relationship, if you're in a relationship, that's what you're looking for. Somebody who is emotionally available, and you're going to become emotionally available to anybody who looks like this sneaky line cheating. You just need to take the time and listen to your intuition. He'll show you who to close off to. Just be careful with with this, that you're offering to the right person. I believe that you guys have the intuition. You're going to be illuminated in your outcome. to make long. You're going to be able to make long-term plans now, Pisces. And be able to give it a, a proper um, offer to who deserves it to be in your life. Alright, let's clarify this. I'm going to use this deck because this deck's beautiful. I just got it. I love it. It's Cosmic Tarot. Um, it's different than the other Cosmic Tarot that I thought I was getting, but this deck is absolutely gorgeous. So, I'm excited about this deck. Alright, Spirit. I ask you to come. I ask for my ancestors. Holy Spirit. Woo! Oh my. <laughs> two of Wands. With the Two of Wands. In the upright. Came flipped out. Yes. You definitely made a decision. Guess what? This These two plus two equals four of Wands, which goes with the Ten of Cups. Yo, it's a solid decision to either move on from something in your recent past, whether it be a mindset. Spirit might be flipping mindsets too, which I, I kind of have been sensing this for a while for the collective. And there's going to be other options I feel that are going to become real clear to you. You're not going to feel confused anymore after um, <laughs> this lunar eclipse. You're going to know who really loves you and who does not. Eight of Swords. Okay, your recent past with this Ten of Cups. Yeah, you could have been stuck in your head about this situation for a very, very, very long time. Very well could have been... Um, Somebody who tried to come in between a relationship, too. Caused a lot of confusion. So the Seven of Cups here with the Eight of Swords. Yeah, you, you were contemplating this for a very long time. But I see you're making a solid decision to press forward with the Ace of Wands. Fiery. Ooh. Okay. Temperance with the Seven of Cups. Yeah, you've been patient. This is also this is a sign of Sagittarius. Could have been dealing with the Sagittarius that is extremely freaking confusing. I, that very well could be who you choose to cut out. And or you could have, this is your recent past, you could have made a solid decision that, yep, this is definitely my person. Alright, Prince of Swords in Reverse with the Ace of Wands. <laughs> Knight of Swords in Reverse, yeah, I think you're going um, no contact. This is like, um, if he's in the upright, this guy, Prince of Swords. This is communication. Fast moving, coming in, cutting communication, cutting through the bullshit. I think that you're just choosing to... He's in reverse. You're going to be able to decipher liars. Spirit's giving you that passionate new beginning. So this whole um, Prince of Swords thing here, Pisces. If you're dealing with an air sign... Like I said, I, I don't usually, sometimes I use court cards, but I usually like to um, keep it to the uh, major arcanas for who, what energy we're dealing with here. Oh yeah, here's a Queen of Pentacles. Interesting. The Knight of Pentacles here, and now the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you only want what's stable for you. If somebody was inconsistent in your past, and somebody had made you wait around and kept you caught, you made a firm decision to say, to hell with that. And look at this right below that. Eight of Pentacles. You're working on your relationship that's only solid. You're only going to accept a solid relationship. 
Now you add the two of cups right underneath the two of cups again. Two of cups here in the center and then eight of pentacles. Yeah, you're working on your existing relationship. It very well could be your relationship. You're working on your relationship with yourself and with um, your higher self with spirit. Because I see your intuition is coming in spot on, man, for that second half of the month. Second half of July. High Priestess. <sighs> Too many came out. Sorry. Well, there's one that did fall in the th Ten of Cups. <laughs> oh, Pisces. Look at that. Yep. With the High Priestess, you know. Anything that's not good for you. Anybody who's been um, emotionally unavailable, who hasn't given you what you deserve, guess what? Tables have now turned. Spirit's giving you what you want. If you've been dealing with somebody who was emotionally unavailable, possibly manipulative with their words, that's who's getting cut out. Four of Pentacles. These Seven of Swords characters are gone. They're all getting found out. They're going to be brought to their knees, I'm telling you. Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here, Spirit? For my Pisces, from now. From mid-month till the end. Well, from now until the end of July. I think you're working on your coin, too. You might really be falling in love with your work. What you're doing might be your main focus. Nine of, nine of Cups. In reverse. Yep, anybody who is emotionally unavailable... You know, that's not your wish fulfillment. Anybody who's put you up in your head and got you stuck and made you be like patient and confused, you've made a solid, firm decision to move forward. And I think it's you just went no contact with somebody because you needed to get stable with yourself. Work on your own commitments. And the High Priestess is coming in then, showing you what Ten of Cups looks like. Four of Pentacles. You're going to be closed off. And somebody's... This is a Wish Fulfillment card? The Nine of Cups? But it's in reverse. With the Four of Pentacles. Coming in. You're going to realize, I think, that somebody who was closed off, that was Seven of Swords, just was not your Wish Fulfillment. You're going to see this real clear. This is definitely love. Prince of Pentacles. And a very well could be with work, too. I see that. you're, make, you're Now you're wanting to make long-term plans. Like, you're pushing forward regardless. Yeah, it might be slow moving. This is the slowest moving night on the deck. But I think you're just being more methodical about who you invest your time in. Okay, look. Prince of Pentacles with death in reverse. Is somebody slow? You know they didn't transform. Death in the upright is a card of um, obviously transformation. With it in reverse. You very well. This Prince of Pentacles, this Knight of Pentacles is slow. I think you're putting to death that si that situation. You realize it was manipulative, or you're going to. Your higher self is going to tell you this. You very well could have been dealing with the Scorpio too. Because they right now you're looking at stability, and that is it. Two of Cups, that is it. Ten of Cups coming in with the High Priestess. High Priestess is going to show you how to get unstuck from slow moving um yeah nights guess what look at this this is perfect here comes um the princess of pentacles i think you're going to be getting um downloads from spirit here's a hierophant higher spirituality higher commitment but the high priestess those are counterparts this is also the card of uh taurus and then, here you go again. You have the hangman. That's you. Why is the hangman here, spirit? For my Pisces. Why is the hangman here? Yeah, you guys are going to be getting real freaking clear. He has x-ray vision. He's able to see into the future. Using his in intuition. 
very well could be moving into spiritual leadership positions as well. It's interesting because this Hierophant, the way it's sitting here, it's looking right at the death in reverse. Like you're going to be able to tell people who has been on, um, put in the work to transform. Slow, slow idiots. The hanged man. Getting illuminated. Taking a lot of time in meditation, I feel, too. The chariot. Moving forward. Yeah. The hanged man with the chariot. <laughs> it's cancer season. I don't, th I don't look at this. This is your card here with the hangman. Hangman's moving forward. That's two, one, two, three major arcanas in your outcome. I think you've already transformed your situation or you're working on transforming that now. And anybody that comes in looking like this trash bag. Um, you're just not accepting Anybody who has not gone through the death and rebirth process, you're like, mm, no. Not happening. Three of Wands, these long-term plans. Why is the Three of Wands here? I apologize about the noise outside. Why is the Three of Wands here? Three of Wands. One more card spirit for the Three of Wands, please. Or Pisces, we'll take this one. <laughs> Funny, recurring card, four of pentacles. Getting stable. This four of pentacles guy? He looks... He's different than this four of pentacles guy. He doesn't have, like, his heart closed. Like, these four of pentacles here, it almost reminds me of, like, an office building or um, maybe a doctor's office or something. Like... Maybe you're really going to be looking at making long-term plans to better your health, possibly. You could be really looking at that. The bottom of the deck here. You have the moon in reverse. That's also um, partially your card. Look, right here is the two fish, but it's also the card for cancer as well. This is also the card for cancer season. All masks have been ripped off. Of anybody who's like this. You're going to have x-ray vision to see right into people's um, motives. Who um, come in like the Nine of Cups. Like they're your wish fulfillment, but really they're unemotionally available. And you're moving forward. You're waiting for your ships to come in. And that very well could be this as well. You're waiting for your ships to come in. Making long-term plans. You stand in there. There's a whole armada of ships. And you realize it's not with somebody who's unemotionally available. That's not emotionally available to you. You're seeing right through through people. You're, with the moon in reverse, with the, the hierophant and the chariot moving forward, I think shit's going to get flipped right on its head. With these Seven of Swords characters, you're going to see right through them. Spirit's going to give you that ability. Transparency. Lovely. I love it, Pisces. Awesome. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull you guys. I'm going to do something here. Um, I'm going to pull you. Let me pull you guys. I really apologize about all the noise outside. I love these angel cards. So I'm going to pull these down. I'm going to pull you a message from your angels. All right, spirit. What angel is over top of all of this for my Pisces? Like, I have these flipping out all over the place. Let me shuffle these better. I'm going to try and hurry this up because I don't want to go over too much here. So... Interesting. That goes right along with your reading. Mystique. Keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miracles, miraculous solutions to appear. All right. That's your angel. Mystique goes right along with who you are. 
my goodness. Let me read about this angel here. I'll give you the extended and then I will get moving. The additional message. You are on the right path, although it may seem to take a lot of time and effort. Keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. You're doing well. Yeah. You're the Queen of Pentacles. You're stable. You are definitely making progress towards your intended outcome. Sometimes flexibility is called for when you are working toward an aim. But in the instance you need to stay away from, you need to stay firm in your conviction. Compromise will only water down the divine plan that you are manifesting. Resist the urge to bend to please others. In the end, these individuals will be pleased by the outcome. You're following a divine course that others may not be privy to, the same vision that you are following. Do your best to explain this vision to others involved, but don't feel the need to defend your actions. Look at my picture. I'm coming out of the darkness and into the light. So are you. So are you. Coming out of the darkness and into the light. You know what you're doing, and we in heaven are here to back you up fully, Pisces. I'm proud of you guys. I love my Pisces. You guys have come such a long way. Man, you're going to be tapping into your power. Thank you, Neptune. I love your planet. It's my favorite energy to get into. That's why I did your reading for you extra. I'm going to be doing it for everybody, but I did yours first because I love you guys. You guys take care. Have a wonderful rest of your July. Mwah. Bye.